Welcome to another programming video with Mr. Long and we're going to be looking at how we can use images in Delphi. So that's when you want to display a picture or you want to change a picture using code. We're going to look at the options that are available to you. And let's learn about that by going straight into an example. So yeah, I've got a Delphi project and the first thing I want to show you is where is the image component. So we're going to come here and it's not understand, it's under additional. And if I scroll down, you'll see there is a T image component and that's the one that we're going to use. So I'm going to click over there. And so that's what an image component looks like. And that's where we're going to put in our image. So how do we put an image inside of this component? So the first thing is to scroll down to the picture property and then you come over here to the ellipse and then you can load a particular picture. Now I've got a whole bunch of pictures in this project. I'm going to click on that bird, for example, and click open. And so that's the picture I want to display. I'm going to click OK. And there we go. You can see that the picture is in there, but we can't really see it that clearly. We've got to make it a bit bigger for it to fit. It can be a bit awkward to put a picture in a block and it doesn't fit. So what options do we have available? So we can come over here and we can stretch the image. You know, if we set that to true, the image will then fit within the size of the T image component that we've allocated. The only problem with this option, however, is that it actually distorts the image if the image is not at the same proportion as your T image component. But that's also okay because we can come here to the proportional property and set that to true. And so irrespective of the size of the image, the image will stretch within it, but keep its dimensions and proportions so that it doesn't look distorted. Remember the picture property is what you use to load the picture and the proportional and the stretch property are what you can use to make sure that it displays quite nicely in the image component. Now what happens if you want to change the image by using code? Well for that I'm going to make a brand new image. So I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to place a new image onto my screen. Let's give it a nice name. So we're going to call it an IMG example. And so let's look at the code that we're going to write for it. So if I click on activate, we can come over here and we can say IMG example dot. If you remember, it was the picture property and then it was the load. So we're going to load from file. So we are going to put in the string name of the image that we want to put into this image component. In my Delphi folder where my executable file is, as long as we're in the same folder as the executable file, we can just have the image over there. So you can see that the image is bird.jpg. So we can just type in bird.jpg. As long as that image is in the same folder as your application file, it should work. That's the code. So I'm going to come here to run the code. I'm going to click on activate. And there you can see the image. Now again, remember the image does not fit. So we would probably in our settings want to set the image stretch property to true and then the image proportional property to true as well and by setting those two we can get it fitting nicely now just take note sometimes this does cause an error if you are loading an image into an image component that does not have an image already if you do get an error message whenever you run the code it might be a good idea to actually with your images to give it a default picture so for example i'm going to go add a default picture i'm going to use that one and so there's already an image in the component so that when I activate it, it should be all fine. So there we go. It changed from the one image to the other. Now I've added another image component and this one I've called IMG GIF. Now this I've loaded an animated GIF. This is what it looks like. You see the cup is just swirling from side to side. So this is an animated image. An animated GIF is an image that moves. It's got a bit of movement to it. And as you can see, when I run the code, nothing actually happens to that image. So maybe we want to see that movement happen. So for us to do that, we need to write some code. So I'm going to write the code on the form create. So I'm going to call the image component, but I need to treat it as if it was a T GIF image. We're going to say dot picture dot graphic, and we want to treat this image as a T GIF image so that we have access to the tgif image properties. Just make sure that you've got the file at the top that allows you to work with GIF images. And so now this image is going to be treated as a tgif, and now we have access to the tgif image properties, which includes the animate property, which we're going to now set to true. So this code will run when the form creates, so let's try it. And there you can see our image is moving as the form is created. So that is how we can activate animated GIF. You need to make your image component appear as a TGIF image using that command. And then you have access to the animate Boolean property. 
and you can set that to true. Now I've added another component which I'm going to call IMG PNG because I want to show you how to display PNG images. Those tend to be images that are better quality than JPEGs but they do have a transparent background. So if you are ever searching online, say for example images about the sun and you want ones that have a clear background, then you can come here to tools and you're looking for the color transparent. And so, for example, if I look at this picture over here, you can see that checkered look means that that is transparent. If I put this on a screen where the form has a green background, then you will see green appear everywhere where you see that checkered marks. And that image is of type PNG. So if I come here to picture and load, and I'm going to go into my images folder, and I've got some PNGs here. So let's use this one. Open it. Go OK. And it loads the image as long as you've got the vlc imaging png library attached you can make use of png images so you can see i can use gifs i can use jpegs and i can use pngs and then we would just set the proportional and stretch so that it fits now another way to use images is to use the image collection so if i come here to an t image collection it's a non-visual component so i'm going to give it a name of img call pictures and then you can double click on your image collection component and we can add images. So I'm going to add a couple of images to this one. I've added a couple of reindeer. You just click on add, you can keep adding them. And as you see, each one has its own index. So this is number one, this is number two, and the first one always starts at zero. So this is my image collection. And we're going to click OK. So let's, for example, take this activate button. And instead of loading the bird image, we are going to assign it. So let's go dot assign. And we're going to assign it to one of the images from our image collection which is image collection picture dot images. And then here in square brackets, we're going to say which image do we want? I want the first one, which will be the zero image. And then you say dot source images, square bracket zero dot image. So this is going to assign the image at position zero from the image collection to our IMG example when we click on the activate button. So when I click on activate, there you can see our first reindeer. And by having an image collection, it does allow you some nice features. For example, we can create a global variable, which I'll set to zero. And what I'll do is instead of assigning it to zero, I'm going to set it to uh, no. So it'll set it to the zero the first time. But after we've clicked on this button, I'm going to increase our number, adding one onto it so that it becomes a one. So that the next time we click on it, it'll rotate to the next image in the image collection. Now remember I've added three images. So when I click on the first time, it changed the image and set our num to a one. So when I click on it again, it now goes to that image at position one and then made our number two. Then I click on it again and now it's the third image. Now the problem here is when I click on it the fourth time, there's no image at position four. So if we just do some mathematics, we always want this to be a naught one and two as our options so we are always going to add one but then we are going to mod three so when it's a zero it'll become one mod three which will be a one then the next time it'll be a one plus one which will be a two mod three which will be a two and then when it becomes a three mod three it'll revert back to zero and so on so it'll rotate through those three numbers so this way when we click activate it just circles through the different images so that's just some code that you can use in order to use the image collection. So remember with your images, if you want them to view, you're going to use the picture property. You want to set the proportional and the stretch properties to true if you want them to fit nicely. Don't forget, you may need a default picture if it's going to work via code. If you've got an animated GIF, then you can use this type of code to animate it to make that image component be seen as a TGIF image. You can use the animate property. And don't forget about the image collection where you can add images, and then simply assign an image from the image collection to your image component. So there we go. I hope you've got an idea of how to use images and you found some useful ways that you can use them in your project. So enjoy using pictures in your Delphi projects. We have tons of videos that can help you learn how to program as well as computer literacy. You just have to subscribe to at Mr. Long, RT and Cat and share us with your friends. We're also on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.